pleasant good morning to you. God is so good. Uh, they don't write letters and do handwritten cards again. Eh? They don't do that. Uh, listen, long ago, uh, at least when I was a boy and when many of you listening were children, uh, when you go to school, sometimes a girl will write you or sometimes you may write a girl and you take out your middle page from the exercise book, you write, you give a friend to send the letter uh, to with a friend and then the girl may reply or she may not reply. Uh, sometimes if she don't like what you wrote, uh, she may just uh, go on the four ends of the letter and send it back to you. Or sometimes she may reply and she write uh, with red pen. Uh, in our time, if she writes with a red ink pen, that shows that she want to insult you. Uh, but sometimes the letters that you wrote and written, uh, listen, when you get one of those letters, you used to make sure you hide it and you read it over and over again. And by the way, in those times, they didn't have uh, spell check and computer, you know. So you had to know how to spell the words correct as a boy or as a girl. Uh, because if you spell the word wrong, hey, they're going to laugh you. Uh, but it looks as if nowadays mm, they don't write letters again. I went to college and uh, in Trinidad. And when we were there, there were individuals. Some of us were married, some were not married. And when certain times the mail bag opened, they will start calling different names and people will come. And one of the things I remember is that some of the guys who were married and the wife not with them on campus, uh, everybody would say when they get a letter, oh, the letter says, send money, don't come, right? And people used to laugh at that. But those were the days before electronic devices and platforms uh, when people actually used to write letters. There were some good days, you know, there were some good days. Uh, but listen, uh, Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 37 says, if a man, if any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge uh, that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. Now, Paul was a writer. He wrote a lot of letters to the churches he wrote, uh, he, he, he built. And listen, Paul used to give advice. Sometimes he used to chastise. Sometimes he used to rebuke in those letters. There is a lot of information that you can put in a letter. And Paul is saying, he being a man of God, that if anybody reading his stuff, uh, they must understand that what he wrote was in keeping with the commandments of God. Uh, we as leaders, church leaders, church officers, and we as Christians, we must be careful what we write and what we put on devices. If it is something beneficial, we should go right ahead. If it is something that may attack somebody's character or something that may humiliate or embarrass somebody, we should not do that. Further, in terms of doctrines, Paul says that your temperature guide, your temperature gauge for what should go in terms of writing should really be compared with what God's commandments says. So whether you write with actual hand like we used to do or whether you write electronically, remember whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are godly. I'm explaining something. Please understand that you need to compare what you write and put on those devices with the Word of God to know whether or not it should go through or whether you should pull it back. So let us encourage each other in terms of electronically writing or actual writing uh, so that we uh, as believers can daily be encouraging each other. And by the way, by the way, let me, let me tell you, uh, this card that I show you, this card was done a long time ago by my wife and given to me and up to today I cherish it it's a handwritten card with our picture on it up to today I cherish it God and Father help someone not to be mischievous in writing but to write
things that will encourage family members and will encourage persons in the body of Christ to live the right way. Bless us today, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you. Oh. 